And now it's time for Doug Buffone and OB's thoughts of the game. We need to focus on bear weather and stick up for president. Jesus, my <laughs> God, Lord Almighty. Welcome to the Express Bowl. Uh, Bowl game. <laughs> <laughs> Our offense was pathetic. Talking from the offensive line, talking about the wide receivers, and we're even going to take Cutler in on this deal. Doug, how can you say that? I know. I spoke out of turn. <laughs> they get confused again, once again, on simple blitzes. You saw at the end of the game, at the end of the game, at the end of the game, the orders kept coming after him, and there was nobody, and when I say nobody, picking up a, a blitzing guy from the outside. Not a person. They act like they never played football before. The call is zone pass coverage. Period. These are people who take us to... They're not good enough, they Ed. Ma- well, they made the statements. I didn't. They was out of bounds. What are these guys, blind? <laughs> I mean, you got Ray Charles out there. What the hell's going on? And that's it. Everything is put on the defense's back. Well, put someone on the offense's back a little bit. Put some damn points up. Score. Guys, man up. Okay? Quit being a turnstile out there. Take people head on. My God, you know where they're going. You got to protect your inside gap, head up, and then outside. That is not a tough thing to do. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that out. But man up. Take somebody on man-to-man and drive them into the ground. Try that for once in a while. What the hell is going on out there? <clears throat> One thing getting beat. It's another thing to letting a guy run a 40-yard sprint right into your quarterback. Doug, he's, it's trying, unbelievable. To, he's, he's trying to get rid of the ball before he wants to get exactly. rid of the ball. Because he knows, knows. knows what's coming in a half a second. There's a missile coming down on Absolutely. Him. So he's, he's trying to hurry to get out of the way. And then the whole thing got just discombobulated. Hey, Doug he won't be there. Cutler, since he's been here, all he's done is taken a beating. I know. A beating. To no B. Yes, Doug. The stop of the game was? The stop of the game was when the clock ran out in the fourth quarter to end it. Good call, Ed. That was the stop of the game. <laughs> that was a good call. <laughs> Thanks for listening. We ran the football for two yards in the first half. Two yards in the first half. I can go out out here and grab one of you guys. You can run for two yards in the first half. That's ridiculous. I understand about balance attack, and I still like you throwing the football. How in the hell do you run for two yards in the first half? Rup the middle all day long. Like they just thought about doing that. They, They are not good enough offensively or defensively, to make these multiple mistakes and win a football game. They're not good enough. I got a suggestion. How about catching the damn ball? I mean, that's just a little suggestion. How about uh, catching Doug, the damn ball? Doug, wait For a minute. God's sake, Ed, you're just, you got Knox was wide oh, open. Doug, what the hell is that? Doug, you're, you're asking too much. Well, you're asking too much. You know I get so frustrated when I watch that. You work your ass off. The line blocks. The quarterback sets up. He takes the step, throws it right to Knox, and you and I both saw it. He was looking downfield to get hit, and as he looked away, he drops the ball. You can't do that. You're not playing down in Grant, you know, in a pickup game on near the Lakeshore <laughs> Drive, for God's sakes. What you're doing is you're, you're, you're playing professional football. You're a professional. You're supposed to catch the ball. That's part of it. Well, it's football, mister. That's what the hell it's all about. This is the third week. You only have 16 games. And to make these constant mistakes and to have these amount of penalties. But, my God, it's right in the screen. And that one, they came in with a blitz dug and then bang, right up, head up. He went right down the line. That guy blew right by him and sacked Cutler. That is stupid football. Hey, uh, Dougie. You are my big hero ever since uh, I heard a while back that you almost choked out Bernstein. <clears throat> Anyhow, <laughs> just to let you know, uh, the Packers are so much better of a team. I can't argue with you with that, and I'd love to argue with that because I'm not really a big Packer fan. I mean, I respect yeah. the Packers. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, Al, I hope you choke on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? One day I want to blame somebody. The next day I want to blame somebody else. We need to blame the players. We need to blame our line. Our running backs are, I mean, it's just so frustrating to watch this crap. You guys, every week, I, I want to call and say, what do you guys know about Chicago Bears football? But you know what? 
regardless of what you guys have ever done. The Chicago Bears got their ass kicked today. They need to come down to Joliet and watch Joliet Catholic football and figure out how to run some offense and some defense and block. It's so frustrating to watch this crap. You know what? I knew a guy... His name was Pat Paul. He coached basketball at St. Pat's School. And he can run a better offense and defense than the Chicago Bears can. Get them hard, step it up, and play some football. Now, I don't want to what they're doing. I don't want to start, start a fight and an argument between you and I. Why? Because I know how much you love Cutler. Okay? I know. I All right, know. I okay. know. I know. I, I know. You and Big Dan, you guys love him. I like him too, but I don't love him. All right? Now. And I think Cutler's a Mercedes. They put four bald tires on it. The car's not going to run. You can't put four bald tires on how a about, Mercedes. How about a used Mercedes? Yeah, anything. Anything that's Mercedes. Anything that's good. You can't. You, whatever goes around that is important. It's not there. Now, before, what's your first name? Tom? He's got a big sign right in front of him sitting at a table. Run the damn ball. That's All right, what, Tom. You know why he said that? I'm dumbfounded. Why would you want to bring in and bring in a, that stupid wildcat? I can't That's get, ridiculous, that's, dog. That was a yeah, ridiculous set of down. Stupid call. It's the dumbest call I ever saw in my life. Why would you want to bring and waste it down on a wildcat? And it comes down to one thing, because I'm about to pull all my hair out of my head. You know, too bad I couldn't bring you a win with the Green Bay Packers. Well, but, you, you know, know it's a, if you know, Doug, if, if they had uh, 22 of Doug Buffone's out there, <laughs> it'd be a different story. When you take a bit of a slappy, and then on top of it, you make mistake after mistake after mistake, quarter after quarter after quarter until this game was finally over with. Everybody has to take a hard, long look at themselves. And Jerry it, Angelo, are you listening? There's no question about it. I mean, the fact is they really have to take a look at themselves. Dog, my paisan, you got to calm down a little bit. You're getting a little agita here. <laughs> agita, I'm losing my voice, Gio. Two things. First of all, our offensive line looks like they got stars. Second thing. We need to focus on bear weather and Ditka for president. Well, that will do it, right? Ditka for president and bear weather. I'm going to tell you something. Any monkey can go out and sign a Julius Peppers or trade for a Jay Cutler. But you gained two yards in the first half. You gained two yards. You average .3 per carry. Come on, guys. Good God. Kid named Stephen Paia. Now I'm... There's a, there's a rumor that I know is out there that he is in the witness protection program. Because I don't know where in the hell he's at. That was a number two pick. Doug, where, where is, I don't know why, Doug, there's, there's people, I'll tell you what. Let's go out to Len and Al, uh, Alburn. And Len, you're on the score. No, it's Len. Oh, Len. 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 Oh, yeah. Glenn. No, it's Len. Oh, Len. Oh, Ron. Yeah. Okay. Why can't the damn staff know what the hell they're doing? Instead of the lovey-dovey two, Mm -hmm. let's go to the lovey-dovey press. Get aggressive. That is my thought of the day. Um, I got to say, I'm going to root for the Bears to lose, to go 1-15 if possible, and then lose again the next year. Because this mediocre mediocre crap is what's keeping on on the coaches and the management. And we need to have a really couple of bad seasons to get just clean house and get rid of everybody and just pray to God that the idiot McCaskies that they are have just enough brains to hire somebody good enough other than an Angelo type. When you bring in Pia, a second-round draft choice, and he's nowhere to be found, okay, there should be answers. Where is Pia? You drafted him second. Where is he? I told you he's in the witness protection program. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to ExpressBets.com postgame show presented by MotorWorks. Hang in there, seven. callers. OB and Doug, we'll be right we'll back. We'll be right back with you. Oh, my God. There's, oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can win a, oh, my God. The other, I didn't like that one little bit, Doug. But I'm going to tell you, my friend, if we come up with a performance like this, Dougie, we couldn't stop the run. We couldn't stop the pass. We couldn't stop anything. You cannot win games just getting ninth or throwing the ball what 17 times or whatever it was but it's from a guy that's been here three years or a little over two years let's put it that way two years in a quarter and he's gotten his brains beat out he has been sacked 102 times would you be a little gunshot i don't know how many times he's been whacked i mean hit yeah. but i'm telling you we're going to be in big trouble my friend well there's no question you got to come in and put your arms around the guy tackling yeah it's called tackling Yep. Merriweather and Major Wright. You take your arms and you put them around the guy that has the football and you take him down. It's not a mystery. 
he puts his arms yeah. to his chest and bumps the guy like the receiver's going to say, oh, you bump me and I'm going to fall down. What the hell is he thinking about? No, I, I, you're running and passing balance. Was there balance today? Doug, I, Did you see balance today? There was no balance today. Seven. What was more important was his body language. I mean, or did it? Did, am I the only one that saw that out there today? Well, Ed, you know what? I don't, you saw it. I don't talk- care about his body language. I do. I don't. I mean, I don't care. I want to see him throw the damn football and make, make plays. Doug, how many great plays and how many great throws can he call when he's shaking his head, shrugging his shoulders, and giving you that smirk look? I don't know, Ed. Okay? All like, I'm... he doesn't know when he does that, that he's on television. When he's walking to the sideline, he lifts his helmet up. He has no idea that that camera's not, that is on him. Come on. I don't think so. Why would he do it then, Ed? Well, why would he do that it? That would be a good question for a reporter to ask him. You know, I mean, why does he do it? I mean, we... I can't judge the guy in his body language, Eddie. I, it doesn't look positive to me, okay? Let's yeah. put it that way. His that. body language does not look positive. It looks negative to me, and take it for whatever it's worth. I'm going to start off with the dumbest thing I've seen, and now, what the heck is Marion Barber doing backflip for? The guy's been out for three fucking games, and he does a backflip because he scores a touchdown? Act like you've been there. Jesus. I mean, you're a professional athlete. I don't think the Bears played good at all. Oh, well, you're not alone there. What the hell? Have you been listening? Pay Forte. Douglas, do you want mine? I think I will. Yes, okay. Yeah. Okay, number one. And I'm thinking this golf club. I'm thinking, what does he want me to do? Rack it over the top of your head? Where, what the hell am I doing with a golf club, no, first of all? No, that's not you're doing it. That's my golf club, okay? No, I know it's and your it, golf it, club. It's, but what? And it's the golf club and it's there for what you think it's there for. <laughs> Along you, with the S-Wing hammer, you, bop you over the head. <laughs> I no, you're going to whip my that, ass with it. Yeah, that is, no. I'm, that's my tour edge driver, uh, well, the exotic driver, the woods and the irons, by the way, which I am playing super golf, Doug. <laughs> and, uh, Stop yourself. And I am not going to use my tour edge clubs to bop you over the head. We need to man up on the offensive line and man up on the defensive line. And what do I mean by that, folks? There, there comes a point in time when you got to stop. you got to stop taking it. I mean, you got to give it. You've got to go after people. And there's no reason why a center, two guards, and, and two tackles, and we have basically two tight ends that's come in and block, and, and we get taken back. Where's your pride? Where's your pride? And defensively, I mean, it's the same thing. You've got to man up. Sooner or later, you've got to man up, and you've got to take care of business. I'm all for driving somebody's ass and putting it into the ground. That's what I'm all about. That's what I think about. Well, let's do it linemen. for four quarters. Yeah, exactly. You can't throw Eddie 93 yards. Doug, the 93 pass. damn yards. You can't do it. And they had 72 plays, 543 yeah. yards. Well, think oh, about it. Oh, my God. And they lost the football game. Instead of being a catcher, man, be the thrower. We no got tackle. zero Zero sacks. You tell me how that works. You tell me that you tell yourself a real aggressive team defensively. It doesn't work. You want to talk about body language because you know damn well, no matter what the hell you do, you're not going to win the damn game. Or something's going on out there. There's problems out there, and you want to correct it. Doug, do you it's ever, not being corrected. You, that is unbelievable, my friend. Brad, if you are correct, you know where we're going? Nowhere. Nowhere. Definitely. Let's try and see if we can incorporate a multiple set offense and maybe our Smurfs might Smurf up. Going Who did we there. draft in the second round? On offense or defense? Second round we went defense and we went with Steven Paella. And like where I, is he? He's in the witness protection program. I told you, you <laughs> can't find him. You can't find him. I don't even know if he's alive. Is second that, round pick. It's certainly not a revelation. That's for damn sure. Brutal. Brutal. Our quarterback situation is bad. Our offensive line is bad. And another answer is for that. Maybe we need to bring back Mike Bear Dicker. We'll be lucky if they're eight and eight. You better man up when you go against the Detroit Lions Monday night. Because if you don't, you're going to take a beating like you've never seen before. It's my favorite restaurant, and Bernard makes the greatest pumpkin soup on planet Earth. Do you, do you eat pumpkin soup? Oh, God, I love it, Doug. Do you? Well, yeah, well, it's the time of the year, and they have it every year. And it's I'll tell you what, it's unbelievable, Dougie. Okay. I just want to make sure because sometimes, you know, they say pumpkin soup, you could, like, turn an orange color or something Doug, like that. you know, that. I got that Tourage drive over there, really. I'm going to show you in a minute. Now let's go to the call before I, I pop you over the head. 
I thought it was an edge swing hammer right between my eyes. <laughs> no, that was last week. Oh, that was last week. <laughs> That's the tour edge driver. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, Lawrence, Lawrence. Go get him, Lawrence. We'll be right back next week on Monday Night Football. Ula mula hula ula bula wulu. Oh. Hi, um, vey. Game, you probably have heard the saying, the worst <laughs> is yet to come. Well, I got news for you. It just arrived. Piss poor, pathetic performance by the Chicago Bears. Embarrassing, embarrassing total. They should leave the offensive line there. I wouldn't even let them on the bus to come home. But the way they played football up there, that was so embarrassing. That kid Cutler, he was should be dead by now. I wouldn't know if he, I don't know if he's alive or not. He held this team together as much as he could to get points on the board. I never saw a game, a football game, that where a quarterback would get no chance whatsoever to make any damn play. Not one time. And you take that offensive line. Nine, nine. Count them. Nine false starts. Nine false starts they had. Nine false starts. You act like they never put a uniform on before. Omiel and Webb. Like I said, I wouldn't even bring them home. I'd leave them up in Detroit for that kind of performance. How in the hell can you play football like that? In your wildest dreams, how can you do that? Well, Doug, you're a professional, yeah. for God's sakes. And now that here's another little tidbit. Take Mike Marks and send that genius somewhere else, too. And take Jerry Angelo and send him somewhere else, too. And take Lovey Smith and take the whole crew with him. Because I'm about head of talking about this football team and what they're going to do and how they're going to change this, they're going to change that. The stupid timeouts we had, we didn't go for the damn field goal when it, when it was 47 yards, and they had a play, they called the play, it was the wrong play, they called timeout, they come back in, okay, they're going to run the play, no, we'll call another timeout, and then they had the nerve to call the same stupid play, try to run up the middle to get a first down, and then what happens? Let's challenge it! Let's challenge that play! What a moron could see. Who do you have Ray Charles upstairs to take a look at that play? And we lose the challenge. Three timeouts in the first quarter. How stupid is that? I am telling you, the worse, more you watch this team, the more you say to yourself, what the hell is going on? What are they trying to do, Ed? Well, Doug, here, my Lord, the problem with, the off, with our Bears has been offensively the line for several years and our small receivers. It's year after year, nothing is done about it. It's right in front of you. Now, how are these people getting on this football team? Jerry Angelo is the head man, folks. You want to look at somebody, you call Lovey Smith, whatever you want him, but look at the guy bringing these people in here. It's Jerry Angelo, and it's about time he catches that slow boat to China. A disaster, a beating, an embarrassment. Number two. We don't even try that. Move the pocket. Throw the ball on the run. Move the pocket. This is what he does best, folks. And why Mike Martz or somebody on this Bears football team, this coaching staff, can't figure that out is beyond me. If, if, if You've got to be able to do this. You can't sit there and let that kid get peppered for four quarters. I'm going to tell you something. They don't make changes here. Cutler is not going to wind up making the whole year here, folks. The you don't call that play. Well, you don't the, run. Yeah. You kick the damn field goal. I understand and get that, three points But here's the, the damn truth of it. They didn't get the damn play in. Marks did it again. They didn't get the play in. They had to call timeout. They're sending in Marion Barber in the run. They don't even know what the hell the play is. And so Cutler gets up the line of scrimmage, and he's got to call timeout. That is so stupid. They can't even get the play in to run it. That's the part that aggravates me. The players are bad, but that coaching staff better get their head out of their ass. Because it's, right now, that was a bad call. And right before the end of the game, when you were talking about the fact that we had the interception, we get the interception, right? And that stupid Merriweather goes up and whacks somebody and gets a penalty. We could have had the ball in field goal range, at least take another shot at it. Well, you know, All the I, way around, Ed, everything was stupid tonight. The we, coaches were stupid. The players were stupid. The whole game was stupid. Again, Lovey's too deep defense. We get beat again deep. I'm telling you, all the way around, everything was just wrong tonight. Everything was just wrong. These are the players that they went out, the they Lions. found, and they brought in there, and these are the ones. You, you play football. 
Folks, to win the Super Bowl, to be a world champion, that's what you do. Okay? You don't play for a tie. You play to be a world champion. That's what it's all about. And they say these are the players that are going to take us to the world championship? Did you see, Eddie? On what planet, Eddie? What? It got so embarrassing, they pulled them out, and they put a kid in there. Lance Lewis was not even a tackle. Where are they finding these players? Well, we're not finding them. That's for damn sure. Let me say that again. Cannot play football at this level. Our safety suck. Come on, guys, for God's sakes. It's all about Jerry Angelo. I don't like Charlie. Him. Charlie. Charlie. I never you, like. You, 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 yes, sir. Yes. Please, somebody please take Mike Mart and shove him up wherever the hell he came from. I hate this guy. I don't like his offense. <laughs> Doug? What? Our offense, though. Our offensive linemen have come up with a new block. What, the whiff? It's called the whiff block. Yeah, the whiff. Jesus Christ. I almost got him, yeah. <laughs> I got him. No, no, you can have him as he killed the quarterback. Yeah. You know what, Lovey? Time to pack it up and ship your ass out of town because I'm tired of watching your show, buddy. You could see it. A moron could see it. But it was pathetic. It was as if these guys never even put on a uniform before. But I'll tell you what, Doug. He got whacked all night long. Anymore. Look at our division, folks. And look at where we're going and where we're heading. It's not very bright, folks. No one's going to rock the damn boat. Jay Cutler gets my game ball. You're I, damn right. There should be no way in hell that you can have Calvin Johnson beat you deep like he did. I mean, what the hell are they talking about? Making the big play, the big sack? Chad! What happened to Chad? I don't know. You're listening to the ExpressBet.com postgame show presented by MotorWorks and Old Second Bank. Our phone number. The defense will do it. Turnovers. Get turnovers. Get turnovers. Give me field position. They did do that. They're not doing it now. So why don't you take it over? And why don't you often score some damn points? Detroit averages 30 some, three, 33 points a game. We can't even score. Hell, we held the football 30 minutes today. 34 minutes and 2 seconds. They had the ball 20 minutes and 59 seconds. We could score only 13 points. Come on now, face the truth what's going on. I know your defense is not up to par what it was in the past, but your offense still stinks. Hey, Doug O.B., love you. If you're Thanks. a girl, I'd probably date you. But on a more serious <laughs> note... Let's not carry it. It's too West. far, kiddo. Five, they had a total of nine. Nine false starts. He said, well, you know, it was noisy there. Oh, okay, fine. Is the tight end position, which is not, we do not have any such situation we do not have a tight end look at the other teams in the national football league we have a tight end position that does nothing offensively they don't move the ball down the field they don't get first downs they don't get touchdowns they very seldom touch the football and it doesn't happen it's not a weapon well he didn't even throw it to a guy that has tons of talent Vernon Davis. Doug, he doesn't utilize he doesn't the, use tight, end the tight ends. The tight ends. He uses a running back. He uses the wideouts, but does not use the tight end in the passing situations. And the only tight end he used was Mano Maliuna, who couldn't play dead, and he brought him here. <laughs> and that part disturbs the hell out of everybody. Seven hey, six seven. Doug, he asked Tom's questions. You know, when he said when they come out, could they go like on a quick count? Yes, that is one of the ways you can counter that, Tom. One of the ways. Jerry Venisi, where are you? Come back, Gene, there. Gene Nudo, Nudo, where are, where you, are you? Help! <laughs> Scott to Jeremy in Saginaw, Michigan. Oh, thank you, guys. How are you doing tonight? All right, Jeremy. My body was not ready to, like, comprehend what happened. I mean... And people said that they had they had a good, good game. Good game, no, right. They sucked. Right. You know, I, I said it till I'm blue, red, green, orange, yellow in the face... I mean, it's right in front of you, okay? They have one problem. You know what it is? Can't play. They can't play football. That's their problem. When you get down near that goal line, put a guy on top of that damn tight end. You can't let him off the line of scrimmage. If a guy is there banging on him, by the time he recovers, then that means the middle linebacker can recover to pick up that play. They don't do that anymore. They let these tight ends come off the line of scrimmage go with the 20-yard line going in with nobody touching them. Doug, Ed, how many times I'd have been benched when I played that position oh, if no, I'd have been on top of that tight end? You know it as well You as let I him do. go free to draft a kid by the name of Paya? Paya. Paya, Paya, whatever. Doug? Where is he, Ed? 
I don't know. We said it last week. He's in the witness protection program because no one can find him. How is this allowed to go on and on and on? I have no idea, Doug. And, and I'm going to tell you something. I, 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 oh, God. Uh, and I'll tell you what, folks. Not good. Ugly. This was a train wreck. Our offensive line is brutal. Who do you have, Ray Charles up there looking at this damn thing? What the hell is the problem? It never should have been an option to go for it. The option was there was never an option. That's the option. You should have kicked the field goal. We got a kid that can't miss. We're what, on the 21-yard line, something like that? In the first quarter, we sh- they sh- get down on seven. We come back with three. And what do we get? Nothing. It never should have come to that. And that is poor football. It's really horrible coaching, I think. And on oh, top God. Of that- Problem, too, was Merriweather, that stupid penalty he had. And I never saw nothing in like my life when I saw nine false starts and guys literally running sprints to the quarterback. Well, me, y'all couldn't get out of his stance. Webb couldn't get out of his stance. It just was unbelievable. Doug, I cannot figure out why they put Omiel back out there. Oh. Does this surprise you? No. Does this surprise you? But not as bad as this that, was, Ed. That the weaknesses that we've been talking about for years, does this surprise anybody no. about our defensive backs, about our defensive line or offensive line and our receivers? Is this a surprise? Not as bad, though, Ed. I never thought they were that horrible. I knew they were bad, but I have to use the word horrible, what I saw tonight. They better get the tight end involved in the passing offense. They better move Cutler out of that pocket, either to his left or his right, strong or weak side, however you want to call it. And they better go from a no huddle, a hurry up, use the shotgun, bootleg. They better start putting that stuff in there, because if they don't, Lawrence, he will not finish the year. Then, hey, and then you know what the other thing? I forgot to, you know what the other thing? Cutler, remember last year, Lawrence? You've got your own quarterback saying that, and it can't get done. Well, who is this guy kidding? What, what's going on in his mind that what's happening out there? Oh, we don't I, use the don't 49ers have, in our game plan. Why is that, people. Lawrence? That's well, they had, they had all that with Mike Mars. I about had it up to here with him being called the so-called genius. The so-called genius of three years here. Where's our offense been ranked? Has Lovey giving you one of his Lawrence, Lawrence, Lawrence? Has he no. given you one of those yet this oh. year? Oh, no. uh, the, uh, you, you <laughs> nailed them that one time. Offensive line and defensive backs, piss poor. Uh, you want my? I want yours, yes. My what is that? My thought? Thought of the day for the today. The thought of the tonight right. okay my thought of tonight Doug actually reaches in uh, to the morning uh, early morning mm-hmm. I would like to see before high noon or by high noon Jerry Angelo and whoever is with him on a plane before high noon back to Tampa Bay why wait we can get him out at 1 30 <laughs> I'll call can... right now United gets a flight down to Tampa why wait till the morning <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Let's go out to the callers, Dougie. Oh. Tom in Medina. Tom, you're on the score with O.B. and Doug. This is nuts. Or, it, how it's beyond amazing, Doug. Or, and this guy continues to... We got fired forever. Now you know. Larry, 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 Larry. What the hell? And you got nine Like that's the first time that's, exactly. that's the first time that's ever happened? happened? Come on, guys. George, RP, Steve. And guess what? It ain't a mystery, pal. Get him the hell out of the Statue of Liberty. I mean, he stands there like the Statue of Liberty, and they just pepper him. That means Mike Marks has to go, Eddie. That means Mike Marks has to go. Okay, pay him an extra 500000 Now, he went out and got Ula Mula Hula Ula Bula Wulu for what? How many? What, Doug? Three or four million. Mano Malayuna. They get him for three or four I million. mean, we could go player after player that he's gone out and had absolute, total, and complete bust-outs that he has brought in here. But no, you don't want to pay Olin Krutz, okay? On 670, the score. I think he's a little more calmer than you and I, right? Oh, I believe so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even Paella, who came out of the witness protection program, they found them. What is a weakness offensively? It's our offensive line. They cannot block. 
That just happens to be, sometimes things are what they are. And I'll tell you what, going to max protection, getting out of the huddle, running up to the ball, and actually looking and acting like you know what the hell you're doing. We look like a bunch of fools out there. We don't know if we're running to the strong side, the weak side. We can't even throw a ball down the field. We can't even get the line set. We can't get a play in. And I believe after that game last week, Doug, somebody, somebody, either a McCaskey or somebody, called those people in and read them the riot act. You better straighten this mess out. All right, Bears, you finally didn't play stupid. You finally went out there, used the best what you have, adapt or die. And that's what you have to do every week. Hey, Dougie, yeah. and the other thing here is, so we really didn't play stupid football. Finally, we played some smart football uh, tonight with the Vikings. Wow. But I agree with you. Doug, we it's just, a smart thing to do. Yeah, that, that, My you, you God, you said it. It was a smart thing to do. Uh, dump the dollar, invest in gold and silver. Mm-hmm. Remember that, gentlemen. I got you. Um, and he got belted, and he fumbled the football, and they take over. What I'd like to see happen is is what I've been screaming about here for three years with Jay, even going back to the days of Grossman, for God's sakes, utilize all the different formations that there are, go on a, a hurry-up offense, a shotgun, move that damn pocket, and I think if, if they don't put it in next week in, in England, which probably they won't, Doug, I'd like to see him do it down down the road and give Cutler and give our offense another way to attack. Because if you think that we're going to go for Doug for 10 more straight games with maximum protection and we're going to win every game, it is not going to happen. Now, number one, Lovey Smith is that too deep, okay? Right. That Tampa 2 or what? Ever the hell you want to call it, okay? This guy will not deviate. We have an offensive coordinator who will not deviate. He had 10 years to draft somebody, Doug. He's well, they been, can't Jerry draft. Jerry Angel's been there 10 years, pal. That's exactly what they years can't to draft. Find somebody. They can't draft. They know what they want to get, but they just can't. I don't know why. Do they take stupid pills? I don't know the answer to that. Last week against Detroit, those two... I don't want to say it, those two defensive backs he had couldn't play dead. Chris Harris couldn't play dead last week, and Merriweather couldn't play dead either. Well, what about the other you know, three weeks? Well, they took stupid pills at the time. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> and now it's time for Doug Buffone and OB's Thoughts of the Game, sponsored by Ex- ExpressBet.com. Go right now to ExpressBet.com and enter promo code. H A W W S C R to not only receive a free one hundred and twenty five dollar sign up bonus, but also be automatically entered to win one hundred in free bets at Hawthorne Racecourse this fall. New winners will be picked each week. That's promo code H A W W S C R at ExpressBet.com. Douglas and myself, thoughts of the game brought to you by ExpressBet.com. Get in, get out, get paid. And thank God the head coach and his, and his position coaches and everybody got it right. They blow this game, Doug. It was over. I tell you what. Put a fork in it. It was done. You and I could go home. Because the fact was it would have been over for this season. Why not his use tight end is Doug, Mono Mali Why, why the who hell couldn't don't play you dead. use all the things? Kid by the name of Newhouse, who in 2010 was drafted was drafted in the fifth round. Paya had the safety. So he got half a sack. So yeah. Paya, welcome to the NFL. <laughs> You're the stop of the game, kid. Well, don't forget, just out of the witness protection program, Paya is being seen. You know, that is why they went after Paya or Paya. Paya. Paya, whatever it is you want to call him. This guy is producing. He's producing right now. What? I mean, what? What? what excuse me. I'm Matt. sorry. I, I'm only 40. Oh. I've, I've been watching these games for yeah. like you know 35 years. And what is the deal with Mark? I mean, what? What happened? I, I'm stunned. I'm happy, but I, I what? Say okay, fine. Don't tell me that you're stupid. 
and show me that there's ways to win football games. You're not going to go to the Super Bowl. They wanted to get blown out sideways. Why? Because they wanted to burn the forest down. Right. Everybody wants this whole crew. Burn. Angelo, Lovey, they want them all gone. Absolutely. Sit it right on the head. Sure. Where the hell are you going? I mean, How, when are you going to win a Super Bowl? How are you going to win a Super Bowl? How are you going to win one and, and then win? Doug, I have, at this particular point, I have no idea. Thank you people so much. All right, we'll see you next week. That's and that type call, of play? That's a stupid football player. Stupid. Period. They should have left him in the English Channel if I had him. They wouldn't bring, I wouldn't have brought him back. Our phone number, 312-644-6767. Ed O'Bradovich and Doug Buffon, our phone number, 312-644-6767. And pound the ball, pound it in their throats, get it, whether you got to go a yard or two or three yards, whatever it is. The hell with the passing game down there, man on man. Blow them out, and let's get the touchdown. Doug, Nobody in the back. How about this one? What the John. hell are they doing passing the ball? They got one yard to go for a yeah. touchdown. It's in the fourth quarter. You eat the time up. You've been running the football, and then you go to a passing game. I'm going to tell you something, my pal. If, we'd have, if the Bears would have lost this football game, all hell would have broken loose. you got to get some people in here that have some common sense. You've got a guy that can you win a football game, uh, excuse me, a Super Bowl with him? Yes, you can. For God's sake, get some people in here <clears throat> that can protect them and put some points on the board. No, he, he did not. He did not get extension. I'll get a sir. Why? He's not one of the three musketeers. Think about it. Why didn't he get an extension? I just one, told you. He didn't want one. But Wait I'm a getting second, a head Doug, coaching job it, somewhere Doug. else. Yeah, well, that ain't going to happen. But, well, I'm saying, though, what, why didn't he get an extension? Doug, you remember when he came here? You couldn't get an offensive coordinator to come in here and take the job. He took Remember it. that? Right. All right. How about a defensive coordinator? Perry Fuel was set to come in here and help, and look promising to be our defensive coordinator. Refused to come here. Took the job with the New York Giants. We can't find people to come in here. Thank you, callers. Ed and I will see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks for calling. How about those Chicago Bears? Get your tickets for the playoff, boys. Vic passes in a double coverage, Doug. What the hell is that guy thinking about? They, they think he's the greatest quarterback or he's the comeback player of the year? I don't know on what planet they're talking about, but not here, pal. We'll be right back. All night long, and they never made one adjustment. Well, I'm telling you right now, it's just nice that they're stupid because they've had the same problem all year long. That's not our problem. Doug, how do you people our problem let, how is do you let somebody you. run on you for four quarters and you don't That's make adjustments? Good for them. I mean, yeah. I hope they were yeah. stupid for the rest of the year. I mean, the fact is, they didn't do it before that. They didn't do it tonight. We kicked their ass. Same as that, you know. And I'm happy about that. And I'm happy they're stupid on that part of it. They took the football, shoved it down Philadelphia's throat, took their wide nine and shoved it you know where. I know the word stupid, but I'll tell you what, the Eagles, their defense was stupid. Day of the game, Sunday morning, we arrive in our, bu- in our buses right up to the entry gate where the players come in. And right off to the left of us, when we pulled up with the boat w- on the bus, Doug, yeah. there is an 18-wheeler flatbed trailer that hauls like steel coils, and on it was built a hangman's noose with a guy in a dark blue suit with a hat. And that's what joke you hear, you wore all the time. We look and we pull up, what is this? There they are, the head coach, they're hanging them right in front of the entrance to the stadium on an 18-wheeler flatbed. And we walk out, and then all of a sudden they hear, foof, and then they set them on fire. For God's sakes, he was the head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles. The game hadn't even started, so, and they hung him and burned him in effigy. Now it's the time. Now, excuse me. <laughs> now it's time to name our hot and cold players of the game. Presented is? by Four Seasons Heating and Air Conditioning. And don't interrupt me. I'm going to bop you right on the top of your head. For all the right reasons, Four Seasons. The cold player is <laughs> Doug. Stop it, Ed. Doug, I'm trying to I'm gonna t- control myself. All right. The cold player is Jay Cutler in the first half. The hot player is Jay Cutler in the second half. Good call, Eddie. Good call. Well, it's amazing how you just pull those things right out of the air. There you go. Uh, Scott to Marty and Woodland Hills. 
Marty on the score with no nuts and Doug. <laughs> What was hey, it? What big, big, say? big <laughs> win for us tonight, you guys. What's up, buddy? And bring in who they want and pay them the monies that they have paid. I mean, you guys talked a couple weeks ago about these draft picks on uh, by Angel that he made in the D-line, about Taehu, Taehu. These guys need to step up. And- yeah, let's, let's the scoreboard the update. Oh, excuse me. Uh, dot com post game show presented by MotorWorks and Old Second Bank. Our phone number is 312 644 Six seven six seven. Thanks for jumping in there, you moron. But he was there with you to win that championship. And uh, the congratulations, and you never let me hear the end of it. Every time, <laughs> you always show me your ring and all that. And, and, I when, no... and, and when the show's over with tonight, <laughs> he's gonna kick my ass. <clears throat> I'll tell you something. You gotta be very careful with this guy, because any time he can spring loose. <laughs> You better get to the callers before I give you a springer. A, a spring <laughs> in your stroker. Oh, I'll tell you what, you're dangerous. I'm going out to Carl in Chicago. Carl, you on the score with Dangerous OB and Doug. <laughs> and let's kind of limit those stupid calls. All right, guys, thanks for listening. See you next week after we whip Detroit's ass. We'll be right back. <laughs> problem though the fact is that it's the glove the glove was the problem yeah <laughs> nobody could do with that glove some of those picks that stafford threw yeah i mean bad. my lord they're terrible you wonder who the hell side he was playing on gloves maybe doug, he's worried about he the w- win doug he they was god awful us. i thought his a quarterback rating would be in single digits hey doug and uh ob i think that uh the people that need to be aware out there is the 49ers and Green Bay. I think the Bears are going to the Super Bowl. What do you guys think? <clears throat> Never go to a five or a seven step drop because we're just not good enough to hold off the defense. I think Mark Martz knows that now. And I think in the, well, I think the, he's the, had it rammed down his damn throat. throat twice, two years in a row. Idiot. And now we're seeing a little, little bit more of that, of him being able to put a little more oomph into our offensive game plan. Unbelievable. I thought it was below the, the neck. Ed no, it wasn't. Thought, That's why. Ed, no, you know I'm what? telling you, he no, below the you know, shoulder pads. I, the blow, blow, no, what? No, that was not a hang. Doug, please. Ed, Ed uh, stop yourself. Please, will you? No. Get your, when's the last time you had your eyes checked? Last night. Well, <laughs> too long ago. <laughs> Ed, that that Doug, blow, that he blow caught was, him right in the throat. No, he didn't. Right and below that the shoulder, right hanging, below the shoulder, which Ed. is illegal. Ed, he hit it's him. illegal. It's a perfect hit. Now, if that's the case, then in I'll, your, I'll give in you your an perfect apology. world, I'll give you an apology if the NFL comes down on him and says that was a legal hit. I say that was a legal hit below the neck, right across the shoulder pads, no. and he whacked him. Is it, you want to give me that look in the eye treatment again? Look at my eyes. See if I'm lying. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go out to John in Oak Lawn. John, you're on the score with OB and Doug. I mean, I mean, it was unbelievable. He went through them like they were two marshmallows. Yeah. My little Brett's. You know, I tell you so what. So maybe we better go back to the ro- to the radio show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure all the listeners are what? Yeah. What are those morons two, talking about? Two dopes. Yeah. I have no idea for you, Doug. We'll see you next week after the Bears demolish San Diego Chargers. We'll be. Good night, folks. Dumb football, folks. Which is a Doug miracle Doug Roy itself. Williams comes and goes. I wouldn't count on him. Well, I'm going to tell you something. He may be coming and going, but today he was coming. He went five and five. What has really kept us in the games? Special, Special teams. Special teams. Mm-hmm. Period. Period. And they were there again today. They're unbelievable, folks. Let's go out to Chris in his car. Chris, you're on the score. Thanks for taking my call. Hey, listen. Um, the phone. Yes, sir. In the words of, I'm, I'm going to quote Dan Bernstein here, uh, you're an idiot. Uh, you want to explain to the fans what you did in the third times this week, or you want me to go ahead and say something? What? No, I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. Well, I'm telling you, you went ahead in the newspaper this week. I understood yeah. you. Uh, I saw that you had chosen the, the Chargers to win uh-huh. this game today. Uh-uh. Not, they, see, this is where, Chris, you better get your head out of your ass. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Because I'll tell you why. Because, first of all, it's not to win the football game. I picked the Bears to beat San Diego. I said the Bears wouldn't cover. There's two differences here. I think the line was like four or four and a half. I didn't think – I thought it was going to come down to a three-point game. 
And so by doing that, that meant I would take San Diego just to cover. But I picked the Bears to win the football game. So understand it, what I did. Anything else, Chris? Tell me the Bears aren't going to cover that three and a half? Three and a half, right. They covered. I, I didn't think they would. I thought they would win by three points. I thought it was going to be a tighter game. Well, I didn't think so, man. The way okay. they've been playing the last four weeks and how much you go uh, up, you know, how much you praise the Bears and everything every week, mm-hmm. you went ahead and made a lousy-ass pick like that. Come on, buddy. So I made a lousy-ass pick. What do you want me to do? Should commit suicide? Or you want me to do it? <laughs> no bad it's in the phone. We'll be right back. Come on, Doug. That speaks volumes of the quality of Jay Cutler. You're listening to the ExpressBet.com postgame show uh, presented by MotorWorks and Old Second Bank. That's being strong if you're opportunistic. I mean, the fact is that if you can get the, the interceptions that they have, which are third in the league, and they can come up with that takeaways, to me that's part. That's one part of the defense. That's what they lean on, and I, uh, I think that's a strong point. Okay, if you want to say strong, that's, that's fine. That's how you see it. I see it as opportunistic. And the third thing is, Doug, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> the fourth thing is I'm going to punch you right in the nose. Well, and kiss my ass and call it a love story. <laughs> you want me to go Presented, with the cold first? If you let me finish reading this, and then, yeah, you can do what you want to do. Well, why don't I mean, you start reading a little faster? <laughs> okay. All right? Well, you're going to beat me up again? No, I'm okay. not. Just don't. put your fist down. Put it down. No, no, no. I no, know no, you no, got the no, ring in no, 1963. No, no, no. no. Oh, I would never throw that in your face, Doug. You've never. Done it, done you mean it. that we won a world championship, 63, that I intercepted the pass and How let the winning have touchdown? You done that? What I, times? That's the first time I've ever said it since 63. <laughs> Expressbet.com, get in, get paid, and get out. But now it's confirmed, and Doug will read to you the news. Well, what we said was, what we thought was, they had said, they had told us that Jay Cutler broke his thumb. That's you were very, happened. very good about that, Dougie. I know, I didn't. I know it's exactly why you asked him that question. Exactly, yeah. Did anybody get hurt? Is Jay Cutler okay? How is he? <laughs> that was very good, Douglas. Let's go out to uh, <clears throat> Fat Sam. Would you like that in rubles? Yeah. We'll give it to him in yen. <laughs> in yen? Yeah. Let's go out to Dan. Yen, yen this. Thanks for listening. We'll be back next week. Where in the hell was it before? Why didn't you break it open before? Why didn't you throw that damn ball deep so you could say, listen, we got this and we'll use it? I am so sick and tired hearing about, and a quarterback's got to manage the game. Manage my ass. You can't do that. You can't do that. You got to go out to win the damn game. That's why you're out there. Manage this. You can't do that. We're messing around with 10-yard outs, 3-yard drops. Don't make a mistake. Don't do this. Don't do that. Forget don't. Try to win the damn football game. The main objective is to win the damn game, not to worry about how much is he going to learn in this football game. Learning is out. Winning is in. But what you can ask is for your coaches to be a little smarter. (laughs) To hell with it. Let's go for the win. Let's win this football game. Let's open it up. They didn't do it. Trust me on that one. Trust me on that one. They know they're hitting the guy from behind. It all of a sudden, the guy didn't just come and jump in front of you, whatever it happens. And those are the mistakes that you got to eliminate. As much as special teams can win for you, they can lose it for you by dumb, stupid football foot. Excuse me, dumb, stupid football players. Hey, good evening, gentlemen. I want to wish you guys both a merry Christmas. You guys are awesome. Right back at you. Thank you. I don't want to be politically correct. I don't want to say happy holidays. It's Merry Christmas as far as I'm concerned. Okay. The shotgun or whatever, <clears throat> excuse me, you want to call it? The wildcat. Wildcat. Yeah. And what happened, Doug? It blew right up in it our face stuffed. again. I think that's about enough, Mike Martz. Just about enough. What you needed to do at that point in time was shove that, bro- that ball right up their ass and go in for a touchdown. That's what we should have done. But the other thing is get the damn football. And if the football is thrown into your hands, you must intercept it. I know damn well we dropped at least three. Give him the option again of looking for somebody. And if it's not there, pal, take off. Go upfield. Doug, it'd be let's impossible. Let's, let's it would be in impossible there. to lose against Kansas City. Well, I'm telling you. Yeah, you impossible too. or I, next to impossible. You know what's going to happen? I'll guarantee you Kyle Orton's going to be starting for Kansas City next week. And this other kid that they have, this Tyler uh, Papco or Placco, whatever his name is, couldn't play dead. <laughs> Doug, and that's that was the not said, make a mistake offense. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's not, exactly wrong. what you saw. It's wrong. 
you think you, he can do a good job at. No, I disagree with you 100%. I don't agree with you, Ed. I, too bad. I don't I care. Know, I know too bad. That's your problem, but, not mine. But, Ed, the guy's a good pass rusher. Let me tell you something. We got four sacks today. You know why we got four sacks? Well, he got Because Carson Palmer is slower than molasses. It does, That's why. They got him, though. They nailed him. I don't give a damn what you think. I, well, Ed, if you don't give a damn what I think, Peppers is the guy you pay money to. Peppers is the guy on the defensive line. What position if did we bring him in here to play? If I asked him to play the What tuba, position the did we bring him in here to play? Defensive end? He played left defensive end. Strong side end, safety. Right defensive end. Assistant he, head coach. What? What else is wrong with that? The fact is, Ed, he Doug. has got the talent. Ah, Doug. What? Drop it. No, I'm not okay. I'll drop it. Drop it. But I'm, I'm standing by that. I that's, think that's you got fine. A guy like that, he has to play. You're in, well. You know what? You really, you really aren't entitled to your opinion. Although no, you're dead no, wrong. <laughs> All right, Ed. I'm going to cool down a little bit now. Okay. And I'm going to go over and talk to Alex from Palatine because he probably has something better to say to me. Go ahead. Alex. I don't think you should move peppers all over the place. Oh, uh, Alex, I, absolutely. Why? Alex, you're the caller of the show. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And, Alex, you'll get a Christmas card from Ed. <laughs> Maybe you guys can have dinner together. How's that sound? <laughs> I don't want to take a vote on this, okay, just for the hell of it. I mean, but, again, too, I understand your point. Doug, I, But I want you to understand Doug, my point. Doug, I've seen your point, and, 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 and my point is uh, – you know, you, you, my God, you don't take a, a, a total and complete positive and, and, and try to turn this guy into something that it, it really doesn't make sense. Why the hell are you paying for a rotation of four defensive tackles, uh, two or three other defensive ends, and, and, and what we have to depend on is moving Julius Peppers from left to right, right to left, game after game, and taking away what he does best, let the other three guys step up to the plate, Doug. What if you don't have them? Huh? What I know we don't have them. Well, then but you're going to make it worse you saw by moving him all over the I place. I'm not arguing you're gonna with him. You're going to wear that. You're going to wear him out. Wear him out. He deserves to be wore out. That's what he's supposed to be wore out because the guy has got talent. You see him run from a defensive tackle position at one game he played. Are How we, else are we, we going to a break? Yeah. I'll, all right. I'll talk to you after the break. It, where's that? Yeah, yeah. Where's that wrestling center here? <laughs> Get the gloves out. Yes. No, we won't need them, folks. It'll just be one punch thrown. <laughs> yeah, mine. All right, this segment is brought to you by Heil Al- Heil and Heil Insurance. You better call these people, I'll tell you right now. With offices in <laughs> Skokie and Naperville. <laughs> one insurance agency for all of your insurance needs. Oh, bad if it's in the phone. When you're wrong, you're wrong. I'll be right back with Otto B. I hated Fran Tarkington. Yeah. I hated him. Yeah. And you can't hit him. And you hate them because all they do is hair commercials anyway. You know, there is a thing down at each at the end of each each one of these fields. They're called end zones. OK, why do we not take Kellen Davis, who's six, seven, run him into the corner, throw the ball up in the air? Why are we throwing going lateral instead of vertical? Why aren't we trying to score six points when we're down in that red zone? I would have rather hand the ball off to a cheerleader than throw that stupid pass all the way across. <laughs> You know what, Doug? We can't say that enough. That play, that March call oh, on that six-yard line. Folks, I'm telling you, we the show's like two hours long. I could repeat it about every other minute. That is, well, you want to talk get... about dumb calls, David. Oh. Cold. This this isn't even the worst. What, what is worse than cold? Ice cold? There you go. You nailed it. You nailed it. Mike March, hands down. Cold player, cold coach, cold plate. Cold everything. Cold everything, huh? Yeah, what well, I couldn't, find, <laughs> couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> yeah, would they like say if you're chasing somebody down and has long hair and you grab them by the hair, is that horse collar? No, that's not horse collar. No, it's trying to break his neck. neck. Well, that's that's, part <laughs> no, that's of the a game. little different. <laughs> you can horse collar is a foul, but when you yeah. try to grab the guy by his by hair and hair, break his neck, that's okay. Can't do that. Everybody. Man, you know, I was gonna be trying to be a Caleb Haney fan, but. Holy cow, he mm-hmm. sucks, dude. 18 for 36, be serious? They didn't do it, so. Not as a, <laughs> not as a fourth one, Doug. What's the fourth one? <laughs> the fourth one, S-Wing is coming out with sludge hammers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's going to be right between my eyes, is that no, what you're saying? No, on top of the head. On top of the head. On top of the head. Well, you usually go right between the no, eyes. No, on top of the head. Okay, let's go out to Michael in West Town. Or... Throw the damn ball into the end zone and score a touchdown. 
I mean, I, th- folks, this is so basic, it's unbelievable, and we find a way not to do it. How do you well, not go for six? Well, you have to. When you're on a six-yard line, the how the hell do you, you not do it? <clears throat> we'll see you next week, Kansas City. Are right. you kidding, kidding me? me? You know, the thing you said at the, after the game just strikes <laughs> you. This is the most miserable performance I've seen in I don't know how long. And that is absolutely incredible. What I saw today goes beyond unbelievable, goes beyond impossible. Just a god-awful game plan offensively. We had to go to maximum protection. Now, for those people that don't know what the hell that is, you saw it, not unless you got a sight problem. Dropping that football at the end like that. Tell me how in the hell you could do that as a wide receiver. And don't give me any philosophical answers to it either. Right in his hands, it bobbles up in the air. That was brutal. Absolutely brutal. And the other thing, too, is I never want to hear anybody complain about Cutler again. After what I saw today and what was going on out there, we were like 0 for 10 on third down conversions. Yeah, Doug, you know what? 0 for 10. Yeah, there's no excuse. For, for Williams dropping that ball. None. Why? Because it was a dumbass, stupid game plan. That's what it was. And it's right on Lovey Smith, and it's right on Mike Martz's head. Period. God forbid anybody, reporter, should ask him a question until Wednesday till he finally figures a way how to w- wiggle the hell out of it. He ain't wiggling out of this one, folks. We had field position. The first time around. All game long, long. we had field position. All four You get quarters. the ball in the one, two, three, and we're out. Give me a break. No. That wasn't football. If I didn't know any better, I was watching Canadian football. What the hell was that? Doug, we're not even stretching the field to go a lousy, stinking 10 yards to get a first down. Manage the game. Manage the game. Win the game. Let's screw it around about managing lose, the game. Lose You had again. a defense out there gave you every opportunity oh, in the world Jesus. to make some plays. But that did it for me with that guy. I do not want to see him again. Because this happened all damn year. When you get in a crowd, he does the same thing. Alligator arms, looks to get hit. He's on the one or two yard line. That's the football game, at least to tie it. You've got guys come in, you're a football player. Oh my God, please. It's not. Number two, Haney half the time don't know where he is. I thought Pelko was bad. 0 for 10 on third down conversions. That was pathetic. You don't play pro football that way. Dougie here. And we couldn't even get a first down. How bad is bad? Love to hear what Lovey Dovey has to say. And then again, Mike Martz. And again, why do you got to wait till Wednesday to hear whatever the hell it is that this guy's going to come up with? Then on top of that, Haney misses Bennett for a touchdown. Hey. Remember that? Then they got Marion Barber out there who was standing out there who doesn't know any better to get up on the line of scrimmage. And he goes in, he goes in the backfield, and the touchdown doesn't count. I mean, how stupid can you be? Hey, Doug. He, you're right. Are these pros? No, they're not. I'm going to tell you something. We, there's, there, we are surrounded here. Now, I'm not sure if these people are hostile towards us. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm, or, I'm or willing what? to join them but right I'm now. Tell you I'm something. willing to join them. I'm willing to get the pitchforks. Yeah, but we don't know the if they're course. coming after us for an autograph or I, with a I don't think it's an autograph. Bat. <laughs> I don't think they're too happy either. Well, the offensive line has improved. That is a lie. Ed and I will be right back. Hey, Dougie, Maybe. Dougie. Dougie. What? You, I you think the callers of people out here are a little angry? I've never saw anything that bad in my oh, life. Bad. Don't start with me. All right. You know what our passing yards? You know how many passing yards we had? Yes, we. Yes, I do. We had uh, 88. 88. Yeah, you, uh, yes, Doug. <laughs> 2.8. You know what that means? That's almost impossible to do, Eddie. And why the hell you want to think that he's going to be a pocket passer? Again, I have no idea. Poor game planning, Doug. No adjustments at halftime. Absolutely none. Because we can't win because our offense stinks. Do something offensively, for God's sake. You're getting paid like everybody else is. I don't know. I, this is so disgusting today. I'm telling you, this, I've never been madder in my life. Why is this guy still on our football team tomorrow? I'm, I with, am I'm with, with this guy. I'm with you. You make the damn catch. Go up and fight for the damn football. Yeah. Don't let him catch it. Yeah. I'm so damn tired of looking at this. I'm getting sick and tired of the whole works. But our entire team should not have been in that position to begin with. But well, we were. We I were in that position. It's called game planning. If A doesn't work, go to B. If B doesn't work, go to C. In your own living room, playing against one of the worst teams in the National Football League, 
they come in here for four quarters and challenge us and defeat us in our own ballpark. That, that is not acceptable in any way, shape, or form, and they should answer for it today, tomorrow, and the next week, and hopefully the following week we can win the damn football game. But I'll tell you what, not like we play what today, went on today not. defies the word again. I'll say it again. We won't defies win another the word football game we play like today. They're lucky to you know. Stop it. Idiots. Man. Now it was fourth and one. And we go to a pass play. Oh, it's mind-boggling what it is. It, I can't believe what I saw today. I mean, Doug, I mean, we happen. had field position. Uh, all the day, uh, all morning. Folks, please don't forget this. We had field position for four quarters. One, two, three, out. How do you expect to think about talking about going to the playoffs? 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 That's where it falls, right on their damn head, Doug. Okay? And never met the damn challenge, and I'll say it, and I'll keep on saying it. How do you let this team come in here, this pathetic football team, and come in and dictate to us what the hell goes on in our living room? <laughs> Let's Maybe. watch him. And I don't think I've ever seen a more pathetic a more feminine, a more cowardly player ever put on a Chicago Bear uniform than Roy Williams. Over the middle where there's five Kansas City guys waiting for it. What is the thing that keeps popping up in our face? It's the offense. This is the part that aggravates the hell out of me. You can't do that all the time, Ed. The you can't defense, lay the head on the defense I, every I, time. I understand. It. My Hester, Lord, we Hester had it runs all day. back 44 yards a punt, right? But I've watched McNabb all this year. And he's puffy and old. I thought Pelko, when I watched him play the last two games, couldn't play dead. Compost Aye, game babe. show. Doug, Ed, Ed, Doug. Hey, wow. What's up, Nate? Please, in the name of Jesus Christ, get rid of Ray Williams. That's something that my grandmother, God rest her soul, could have made that play. Doug and OB, thanks for taking my call. Right, I am Mike. so mad, it's pathetic. I just retired 10 days ago. I'm ready to put up $100 to put Mike March on an airplane and send him to Arizona State or Fiji if you want to. I told you, it defies the word impossible. Yeah, it what is. What they did today is, just, is impossible. You know we went, we've, went, we've gone through some bad games since Ed and I have been doing this, but i got to tell you, this is right up there, Ed. Dougie, I'll tell you what. I've told people, oh, my God, I don't know how many people I've told that it is impossible I said, this is a game. And believe me, folks, boy, am I going to hear about it this week. I said, it is impossible. To lose the this Bears way. cannot lose this game. I said, it is impossible. Oy vey. I said the same thing. Is I never, ever, ever would have believed I would have saw what the hell went on out there today. I never knew that this coaching staff was that capable of putting such a pathetic game plan together. And stick with it. Tim, I said, Timmy, I said that last week. Buffon. Dougie, could you imagine the people that are out there that are sitting there that might have maybe wagered on this game? Oh, please. And probably bet the front porch yeah, on the Bears. And I, you I, want to talk about some aggravated people? Talk about a sure thing, huh? Oh, my <laughs> yeah, God. Right. I can't believe what happened today. We'll be right back. The offensive, offensive line. line. They were in two wins if Cutler was that quarterback. You're playing two lousy football teams. Exactly. Two absolutely lousy football teams. And that defense played like hell. Both of those games played very extremely well. Stop of the game was Roy Williams' drop in the fourth quarter, resulting in a Kansas City interception in the end zone <laughs> when the Bears were trying to go in to score to tie the football game. Stop of the game. Talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye. We're not capable of scoring points. That's the point when you take a look at it. Haney can't be the quarterback. We don't have a quarterback that can score points. But how about play action passes? Where was the play action? Where was the bootlegs? Where was moving this kid around the pocket? Why didn't we split the seams? Why didn't we have post patterns? Why didn't we have fly patterns? Why didn't we stretch the field? Because we played scared to death football. That's exactly what the hell we did, Doug. My God. Uh... It's just stupid. It's ridiculous, Ed, those numbers you're just saying. That's not football. This wasn't a football game. Two out of 26 uh, on third down conversions in, in two games in the National Football League, and we're talking about winning the Super Bowl. And we're talking about going to playoffs. I'll say playoffs, playoffs. 
Are you nuts? Run the damn football. Okay? I had to walk right into that room, punch Mary and Barbara right in the mouth, and said, listen, I don't mind the fumble, but if you're so stupid that you have to not go out of bounds and do stupid things like that, you can't play. I can't argue with you. Boy, that's so basic, Doug. Oh, it's just like oh, my we Lord. do that and what? We don't deserve to go to the playoffs. Who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? Then we start throwing the ball. It's too late then. You've let them back in the game. Yeah, Bill, they took stupid pills. I mean, there's no question about it. How the hell do you go 0 for 11 last week in the first half of football in the National Football League? He can't bootleg out. He can't roll out. And he can't throw the football. Then what the hell is he doing on this team? He's been here for four years. You gave a game away today. Yeah, you did. You gave it away. Big time. You gave it right at, you just gave it away. Unbelievable. As soon as we're eliminated, the whole staff's got to go. That's it. The whole staff's got to go. Oh, that, it, Doug, it's, 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 it's not real. It's, it's unrealistic. You sit there and you watch this. Are you kidding me? You this is it. the National Football League? When in the hell are the Bears going to fire this inept Lovey Smith? His name is Lovey, but we hate him. How can you go into the playoffs for an offense like this? Are you nuts? Oh, Doug, come on. You, you're trying to ask Jerry Angelo to draft people. Now you're really being well, really, really critical. Maybe we Doug. won't talk about My that anymore. My God, come on. Give the guy <laughs> cut some slack. My question is this, and it, it's a burning question. It's a perennial question. If God intervened to secure a victory for the Denver Broncos, why the hell was he asleep at the wheel during the Holocaust? Haney, 48.7%. Uh, think about it. Testing rating? I mean, seriously? Think about it. The guy sucks. If you walk into a dentist and he pulls the wrong damn tooth, don't you get a little pissed off? I would think so. That's a professional playing a professional football game. And looking at a professional football game, I don't go out of bounds. I don't do that. I don't care what happened before that. I don't care if the coach called the wrong play. I don't care if I'm running to the short side of the field. You do not do that. Doug. Slow down, Doug. we got about an hour to go. <laughs> I, I don't know, Ed. Doug, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I want you to make it. Ed. Take it easy, pal. Think about it, Ed. I know why. You get, you get, why. Paid, you get paid to do that. It's called football IQ. Ab- absolutely, but I love you, and I want you around, so, t- right. so take it easy, okay? Okay, buddy. The last time. Well, wait a minute. Till we get to the next caller, and then we'll unload again. The last, go ahead. The last time, when I, time I got mad, Ed told me, look, he said, you have a heart attack, you're going to die. I said, why? He says, I'm not giving you mouth-to-mouth. That's recitation. right. I told you, if you go down with a heart attack, yeah. plan on dying, all there right, will right. be no mouth-to-mouth. I'm, set, I'm settled down right now. Okay. All right. And I watched uh, Abe Gibran uh, stuff a whole sausage sandwich in his mouth. So I, I believe everything that you tell me when it comes to that. Uh, you had to give them a lot of credit. They hung in there, um, you know, and late there, got some momentum going. And... Uh, you know, made some good plays there to uh, allow them to win the game. You listen to this guy? I heard it. Yeah, I wish I could turn it off. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, oh my God. Deserve to win. All huh? game for three, for four quarters, they were a piece of crap, and they played the last two minutes. <laughs> you know, oh yeah, they deserve to win the game. Yeah, right here. Because I'm going to tell you what they did. They went with the invisible game plan. There it is. That's it. You heard it here first. The one they keep in the back of the back. That's ball. right. Yeah. We're going to put him out there it's for 60 him. minutes, and nobody's going to know That's he's out there. That's right. We're going to fool everybody. That's right. That's, keep him in the pocket so we can get killed. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Jesus. Dan. Done. Dan, for you and my partner here, Doug. You think this whole game plan would have changed? Not. Not. No. Lovey Smith. All I want for Christmas is a newspaper with a picture on it, and under the headline says, you're fired. I mean, Haney couldn't play Santa Claus at Macy's. I mean, that's how bad it is. I'm so pissed off by that watching this. That was a good this. one, Doug. Was it? Yeah, I like that one. All right. Santa Claus at Macy's. And you know what? You know, you're I, just uh, full of all those. This impressed. game was laughable. Yeah, it got to a point where it was a joke. It's not working. No, it's not. I want to talk about Lovey's prevent defense. But is this guy that much of an idiot? He's got the IQ of a chimpanzee. Andre Goodman, a cornerback, cornerback, never challenge him. Any that comes under the category of adapt or die. Stupid. Die. They die. 
He has no pocket presence whatsoever. He doesn't know where he's at. He's like a blind man just looking for a piano or something, just going around in circles. How about this one? Run the damn football. It's total total frustration. Absolutely. Frustration. I mean, my Lord. You know, what are they thinking about? I don't know, Ed. I know again, too. Yeah. Let's see what happens the last three games. I yeah. probably could tell you what's going to happen the last three games. We'll be right back. And especially when you see three. One, two, three. Not acceptable, gentlemen. It's it's not up to snuff. It's not acceptable, Dougie. At the end of the game, it came down to one thing, and that is that God hates Marion Barber. That's all I have to say. We played Green Bay, and we got eight turnovers. Yeah, right. And lost. we played the Denver Broncos, <laughs> and we got nine turnovers, and we lost both of them, folks. Yeah, and at halftime, we had a big fight with the <laughs> offense. <laughs> but that was then, and this is now. That's correct. And it's- you're sitting with Tom Brady. His defense couldn't play dead. If Lovey had better personnel, talent, yes. Doug, he's been involved in this for eight See, years. I hear Ed, but I don't believe this. I believe that's Scotting. Why? What? Why do you, you mean he's locked out of Jerry Angelo's you office? Something. Why do you think you got rid of Bobby DePaul? Why do you think Bobby DePaul is out? Why do I because, think Bobby yeah, DePaul's no, out? He stood because up he stood him. That's why. Because Bobby DePaul was a little bit smarter than him. Yeah. Yeah. The Giants. See you next week. Jerry Angelo, you go oh. whistle Dixie. <laughs> you go whistle Dixie, mister. Jerry what Angelo. What I saw out there today was just pathetic. All the way around. Pathetic offense, <laughs> pathetic wide receivers, pathetic quarterback, and even the defense, who I absolutely love, they turned pathetic. Now t- t- tell me, how do you really feel about it, Doug? Pathetic, Ed. <laughs> they got to take catch the 32-yard catch. And you got the other guy, Obama Mano Wanahu, whatever his name is. He catches a 43-yard touchdown. Uh, now these coaches, this one, <laughs> I mean, the, the you players. Chuckle, you're chuckling they, again. They were there. Uh, Doug, there's so many god awful things there to think about. The whole right side is gone, and we don't come with line tricks. We don't come with blitzes to attack their weakness. You know I'm what? telling you, the, this is beyond reality here. How dumb can you be? That's dumb, Ed. There's no question about that is dumb, all right? But here's something a little dumber. I don't think we have the talent to do what you just said. Now, and I think that's the now, problem. Now, Doug, yeah. these are our football players. Haney's my quarterback. And we like our yeah, team, Haney, and we right. like where our position yeah, that's, is. That's ridiculous. I mean, where's Bennett? You paid him $19 million. He caught one pass today. That means he's caught two in three games. What the hell does that mean? He got beat like a drum, and that was all day long. Now, when it's that bad, you got to fall down to the ground, grab grass, for pray, my God, do something. That's embarrassing. I hope we don't get into the playoffs. I'm scared next week against Green Bay. It's time. It is time. Please leave this town and take everybody that you brought in with you. And that includes Roscoe, too, by the way. Amen. It is incredible. It's incredible. And playing against three backups that can't happen it did happen it did happen eddie tomato can my ass we can't beat anybody and the bears get their ass kicked we'll be right back listen you can't blame the coaching staff completely i think they smoked a lot of the marijuana that sam heard left over and completely <laughs> the game plan in the second half these guys suck that's all i gotta say maybe they should have smoked the marijuana i don't know i mean after this game after this performance today or maybe they smoked it at halftime. I don't know that either. Doug, he, he, was run, he was running for his life. Even when Every they was trying to go to maximum protection. That's right. You got six. You got eight guys trying to block for this guy. Seven, five, constantly. And he's still running for his life. Yeah. And, and Lovey Smith is saying, well, it's okay. Our offensive line is fine. These are the guys we want to go with. How blind can you be? And the people last year, after the game, after the championship game with Green Bay, had the balls to say that this kid was gutless. Give me a break. What are you, stupid? Are you blind? And then Anthony Adams, I mean, it was, I mean, my God, he couldn't even fall down. He was getting pushed back so far. The fact is Pete Carroll outcoached the Bears in the second half because what he did was he took the rollouts away. And when he took that away and kept Haney in the pocket, that caused the downfall. Dougie, you're it's being called negative. Adjustment. 
Negative. You're being negative, now, gang. Yes, you're listening to Bet Express Bet Bot Post Game Show. There is, how does this episode impact, uh, if at all, in your future with the Bears? Mark, you know, whistle Dixie. Uh, it's absolutely mind boggling. Caleb Caney, Caleb Caney, Caleb Caney back in the seven, which he did. Doug, they the Bears have, have no pass. answer. They have five guys that cannot block anybody. That's right. That's this week, the week before, the week before, the year before, the year before. It never ends. Talent is not there. It is not there. But according to them, it is. Well, what else are they going to say? I'd they, like to see him backpedal on this one now. They picked him, Ed. What That's you exactly think they're correct. Say they're bad? That's exactly correct, Doug. Got to get him out of harm's way. You got to. You, you should call the adapt or die. You do that. You adapt or you die. In other words, you don't do keep doing certain, certain things you can't do. Do you know last week I heard this rumor that they told him not to run? How dumb is that? You were winning 14-7 to at halftime. Doug, you're listening to the Express Bet. Comcast, Post, Dot, Came, whatever it was. Ex- but, Doug, how many times? Why? Why couldn't we come with a Mike Blitz? blitz? You got two guys that are not starters, and we don't take advantage of it. Here's, and- the, here's the answer, Ed. Did they, do, did they take advantage of Denver? When no, they, they lost three wide, three defensive three backs. Three defensive. That is, ab- uh, Doug. This is. There's no excuse for this, folks. This is unbelievable. You know who came with line tricks today? Seattle. You got it. Mm-hmm. They came with the line tricks. Did we? No. Did we come with blitzes in an area where we should have? No. Should we have been going after after they mar- made their adjustments? Should Rod Melinari? M- Marinelli. Marinelli. Should he you get have worse made? Than me. Yeah. Should he? Yeah, <laughs> Doug. We have a hard time stepping on somebody's throat and finishing them off. You've got to go and tear and finish somebody up. The Chicago Bear fans, right now, they got their pitchforks. They got their fire. They're heading right for the castle. And they're screaming, you know, what the hell is going on? 16 lousy stinking weeks, pal, to win a world championship. And And Jerry Angelo tells Mark Padash, go go whistle Dixie. Dixie. Ah! That's a class act right there. Leonard and Aurora. Leonard joined the score with OB and Doug. Uh, that's okay, Leonard. We're going to go to a break. It just but, kept rolling and rolling and found, rolling. There was yeah. nobody there. You're so pessimistic all the time. Well, you're, Doug. You're negative. You know, I know. I don't want you to be negative either, <laughs> Doug. Names are our plans. We like our team. The sun coming up or no? Give me tomorrow a, morning? Huh? The sun will be up tomorrow morning. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> huh? I'm always uh, amazed at the stupidity of Chicago fans. Gentlemen, always a pleasure talking with you. Right. Here's the deal. And could you just imagine, just imagine, if we didn't have Peppers, if we didn't have those two linebackers and Tillman, what the hell would you think would be happening out there? Well, that's why. Scary, they, isn't it? They, These guys suck. They have no talent. They can't coach. They make no adjustments during the game. They don't do nothing. None of those coaches can coach a vulture to eat. Well. <laughs> Which I never heard vulture, of that one. I never heard what? that one. <laughs> Coach a vulture to eat. I never heard that one before. <laughs> Me neither. Pretty good, George. Pretty good, though, George. <laughs> I mean, you know, I understand. The quarterback coach for the Chicago Bears is a young man by the name of Shane Day. Okay. Are we going to a break, Doug? Yeah, go ahead, Ed. Is that enough? No, that's, oh, I that's all I have to say. about Shane. Nothing. Nothing. Shane Day. He's our quarterback coach. All right. That's, that's encouraging. And Ed? What? Oh, second you, you know what, Doug? I got to tell you something. What? Folks, we sat there and watched this just like all of you did. And I'm going to tell you what. I, I, got, I, 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 Folks, I couldn't find one positive thing to say except they showed up for the game. You had a whole, I mean, we. You had, <laughs> you had a whole tablet filled with writing this. Ed, there's not, give me something good, Ed. There's not, please. There's not, there's not one thing that these coaches can defend. Nothing. We're they trying. didn't have 40 guys, 43 guys ready to go to then, play football on top in of this, our own house. Try. You talk about a train wreck. That was taken away. Now they got there. And don't put that fist in my face, okay? <laughs> and that, right. that wasn't me. No, it wasn't me. That's it was our him. crack producer. Our crack producer. That's right. Don't ever raise your hands to me again. <laughs> we'll be right back. Jeff Joniak. You can tell his voice that he was pissed off also. On the call. Hey, uh, Dougie, what you- uh, Bears, take a look at this kid, Patapino. George, now, if you think George. I'm lying, if you think I'm lying, if you think I'm lying, 
everybody in the NFL, every team becomes just another team in the NFL. George, now, George, yes, all right, we've heard you, okay? The fact is that you have to have backups. you got to have backups. You can't sit there like that and say, don't worry, nothing's going to happen to my guy. And when you have a backup, you just don't get a backup and say, you're my backup quarterback. We probably won't need you. What if you do need him? What if that happens? Doug, I, I understand. Man. God. Kansas City came in with that kid. It was terrible. Played, oh, my. Did you see what Kyle Orton God. could play? Kyle Orton could have been. If Kyle Orton was on this team, obviously we would have won. Well, all I'm saying is if Haney's not the guy, then you should have had a backup that is the guy. That's what George doesn't get. It, the other thing, too, did you, did you also take a look at the backup that we had last year in Todd Collins? The guy couldn't play dead. And he went, they put him out there in the third quarter. And Haney came in in the fourth quarter. You've got to have backup guys that can play in the National Football League. And George, that is correct. You're not going to be as good as the guy that you originally started with, but at least you could compete, especially when you're playing tomato cans, which we have done the last four games. I've seen monkeys at the zoo be able to throw their feces with more accuracy than Caleb Haney can throw a pass. Also, that... What happened between you and Ditka? Tell him to go whistle Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> what happened between me and Ditka? <laughs> Nothing happened between me and Ditka. Jesus, my yeah. God, Lord Almighty. We're talking about the gears getting beat up and <laughs> yeah. some guy yeah. asked you what some, happened to you and Ditka. Talking about 20-some yeah. <laughs> years ago. <laughs> Christ Almighty. Let's go. Whistle Dixie. That's what you got to say. I mean, that's the answer. No, now that, for that's, uh, that's Jerry Andrew. That's, that's Jerry. That's, that's not Jerry. Jerry. That's right. When we have more time, we'll talk about it. You're listening to ExpressBet.com post game show. I mean, a lot of the fans, and including myself, will be looking at some fat guy coming down the chimney dressed in red instead of worrying about the game. Uh, oh, it's Baltimore and San Diego. What are you doing? You keep grabbing. <laughs> I'm trying. What? <laughs> what? We want to say one thing. And to everybody, a very. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Good night. Now, we've been telling you this year, last year, the year before, the year before, the year before, and the year before. Science! Our, they get into the red zone, <laughs> our opponents. We play an uptight defense. You take away the inside! It's exactly right, a little bit. Did you see Aaron Rodgers look at the whiteout, come back, Chuckle. and he looked again, and he pointed to the eyes? I mean, are you kidding me? This it, is John Hoke, folks. This is coaching. This is, like, whose fault is it? The cornerback? Yeah, he's playing the position out there. But who is coaching this kid? That's basic football, folks. That's Basic football. Anybody tells you anything, they don't know what they're talking about, or they're a liar. About here, here, Doug, I, let, I just yeah. don't understand, Ed. Doug, Ed, did they just did not try yeah. to put points on the board. That's right. And That's look, what pisses me off the most. That, I mean, they're, they're in the fight of their life. They had to Which win this football exactly. game. Exactly. Okay? Let it all hang out. And again, they're playing. What, what did you say again? Playing not to put points on the board. They're playing not to score. They're playing to kill the clock to make it look what close. What is this and coaching decent. staff thinking about, folks? I'm gonna. I don't know what you people saw out there, but I'm gonna tell you what. This was really disappointing. And by the way, uh, the sense. Where's the professionalism by this coaching staff? Why didn't we try to go into the end zone and score? Well, that's the big question, and the big question is that to, is the question of the night. I'm going to tell you something though. He could do certain things. At least the kid ran the football. He took off and ran. No, he, he did things. Doug, Why yeah, did we do that in the first damn half, Ed? Absolutely. Why you know did what? we do any of that stuff? He they only gave him one or two looks, and if he that's and after it, he that, was gone. This kid took off, and that's the that's same exactly thing they should have Haney done. Should have done. But what did they do with Haney, Doug? Told they him not put to him run. in a five and seven strap, a five step and seven st- step. Drop back, and he was in that pocket to throw the football to find his first, second, or his third guy. We're running the football pretty damn good, aren't we, Ed? Yes, we are. Where was the play action passes? They weren't there, non existent all night. Why wouldn't you do a play action pass? Why wouldn't you come out and do the play action pass and try to hit the tight end? Doug, a delay up the middle. I lost the four worst yards. Damn play you could call. Not a quick opener, a delay. That's basic 
football, folks, and it didn't happen. When did you see us go to the end zone, Ed? Two minutes and 30. I didn't. That's right. Two minutes Not and 30 seconds in the second the quarter. Zone. The play action was set up to go. It was set up to go, folks. Throw the ball out of bounds. Kick a field goal then. But try to score a touchdown. Try to win the football game. There's 16 of them. My Lord, what are you people thinking about? And you saw on the sidelines, I mean, the Packers were all chuckles. In fact, the Bears were all chuckles, too, Yeah, what the, the hell was that all about? I mean, about? I don't know what the hell's going on there. Even they had a coach laughing on the yeah, sidelines. Everybody's chuckling. You know, all chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. I'm laying everything out on the line to win the damn game. Not to be close. Not to embarrass myself on national television. To win the football game. You had to win this football game. Yeah, it, it's a must game. You hit it right on the head. A must game. It, that's all this game you was about. You pull out winning. all the stops to Hell win a game water. like this. That's right. Right. What do you have? Uh, you know how many sacks we had today? None. None. Zero. Nada. Backup tackles playing the game. Backup. Backups. No sex. It's Christmas Eve. I understand that. Doug, for Christ's sake. You know, I mean, for heaven's sake. Don't try to win the damn game. Doug, there's basic football what you do. When you get when they're going in to score on you, there's basic when you get up to defenses, what? There's no complicated, unbelievable defenses you're gonna play. You gotta man up. You gotta play smart. The key is to keep them off the field. We won. The coin toss, and we deferred and let Aaron Rodgers go out there and cram it. <laughs> I mean, this guy. It's, I can't. Uh, and that's why they were laughing because you know, they just took the football and they, when they they started out keep, just sparring with us. Whatever you that's can all. do to keep Aaron Rodgers off that field, oh, you yeah. do. We win the toss, and what do we do? I'll tell you what. Incredible. And those slants. I'm tired of seeing the damn slants. I'm tired of seeing the guys letting the guys get inside of them like that. It's just football 101. Aaron Rodgers. You never let him get inside. <laughs> Dougie he, was he salivating. Yeah. He, he couldn't, couldn't believe wait it. to call the damn call. That's exactly right. You know, come on. God, that's just football. What, uh, they're sitting there smiling and they're laughing. They're joking on the sidelines. And they just had their backside handed to them. Yeah. In a game they had to win, folks. They had to they win. They had to win this game. And, and you t- tell me, you tell me, you tell Doug, how... You mean to tell me that that game plan was set for us to win that football game? No. No chance, no way, no how. <clears throat> the famed too deep lovey defense? Sucked. It's a fact that we give that dead beat, son of a gun, Kate McDown, another chance to come back and play. 2000 was a long time. It was 11 years ago, pal. It'll be 12 in a few weeks. Well, yeah, you're talking about McCollin, right? Three yard touchdown tosses. What are they doing? This is they have to win this game. They're they have to win to this it, game. Trying to keep it close. Here's what Lovey said here tonight. He said we did some good things. Oh, good. We have stud players like Julius Peppers and and Brian Abadiano. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing asking for that? Just because you suck doesn't mean these guys suck too. What's he talking about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Merry talking Christmas. About it. Yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas, kid. Let's go out to Rudy in Payless Park. Rudy, you're on the score. Hello, how are you? Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Rudy. The last time I talked to you guys, they threw me off the air because I said a bad word. Okay, don't do it again. I won't do <laughs> okay. it. Okay. I would like to say a bad word. Yeah, so would I. Hey, you know, a couple of callers ago, uh, you guys were talking about, you know, caring. And he, I think he was questioning about who, who cares, you know. And uh, I care. You know, I, 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 uh, every Sunday morning, I look myself in the mirror, and I, I know I care about the games. But I'm, I'm curious about whether or not you guys care. Because what do you, you know, you, we have, there's a lot of talk going on on the radio station, but what are you guys doing to help the Bears win? I mean, let's be honest. Let's be honest right now. What do, you, what, what do you want me to do to help them win? Well, I mean, you know, I know you guys have a radio station, but you guys can talk to the coaches. You guys can, I mean, you guys are former players. Why don't you guys give some strategy here? Are you kidding me? Do you honestly believe, do you honestly believe that what I would say and no Bradovich would say that we want upper and they would listen to you, to us? Are you crazy? Please. Come on. Come up with something better than that. I care. Ed cares. We all care. But what we care about is the fact that we see something that's not right. And that's what we're looking at here, that something is not right. Let's go out to Paul in Highland Park. Paul, you're on the score. 
All right, what's up, fellas? What's up, Paul? You know what? I second that last caller. I think you guys don't care. You're a bunch of damn cowards. Okay. Bunch of damn cowards sitting behind your glass houses. That's what. <laughs> now to turn it on us. Let's go to Craig in Oakland. Craig, you're on the score. Yeah, I think, man, we need to get rid of the coaches, the general manager. And why don't you guys come on as coaches? We could. You, think you guys can do a good job. No, I, I'll be honest with you. I know. We, we couldn't do that. We couldn't be up there. And everybody says, well, you guys can go up there and tell them what to do. No, I, I can't. Coaching takes a lot of work, a lot of effort, and a lot of experience. You just don't walk on the field and all of a sudden there you are. But if you watch the game, listen, I know we got a couple of callers calling about Ed and I talking about the game. I didn't play a piano for 14 years, all right? I played in the National Football League for 14 years. I wasn't a coach at a high school. I didn't play just – just college ball. I played 14 years. I'd played 12 years. I know what the hell is going on out there. I know exactly what's going on out there. Can I change it? No. I'm not that good enough to be a coach right now. Years ago, maybe, but not now. But that's why they got people out there. That's why you have to get the best. There are coaches out there. There are players out there, GMs out there. You need the right people. Well, B and I are not the right people to go up and say, hey, give us the team. We're going to turn it around. We're going to change it. We can't do that. But I will tell you this. I'll tell you what the hell is wrong. I can do that, and so can Ed. Or what are they going to try to do? Let's go out to Roger in Wicker Park. Roger, you're on the score. Uh, actually, this is Ramsey from Bourbon A, but hiya. How you doing, Ramsey? All right, Rams. Pretty good, fellas. Um, you know, I just I, whenever I watch a Bears game, I just I just ask myself, what would Coach Dick, I think? And watching these guys and, and listening to you, I think Coach Dick would be disgusted. Uh, disgusted because you guys obviously don't care. You don't care, and I don't see what you're. I lost that one. I don't know what he's talking about. The post game show was brought to you by Old Second Bank. Start banking on Old Second Bank. Have From a s- night. Merry Christmas. Yeah, have a safe and healthy yeah. 2012, folks. See you Good next night. week. All I heard, Ed and I heard for the first, first four or five games, this Cutler, jerk face, this, that, this, that. The hell with you, mister. That kid brought this team, put him in a row, won football games, and took a beating doing it. That's the part that pisses me off the most. Yeah. It really pisses me off yeah. because that kid really went out there and hustled. I don't care what he looks like. I don't care if his face changes. I don't care a damn thing. What I care about is what you do with the football. Kansas City, Seattle, Denver, San Diego. Boy, that's a juggernaut right there, bud. Please stop yourself. Well, what does that tell you about our team? And I do not trust this man one bit. Why? Because it's right in front of you. His body of work is right in front of you. We have number one, two, and three round draft choices. They're not even in the last time, not even in this damn game of football. And, I mean, it's right there for everybody to see. I mean, my Lord. I'm a little upset right now, but not as upset as I'm going to be a year from now. Hey, yeah. Ty, let me tell you something. Doug goes back to Pennsylvania, <laughs> into the mountains of Pennsylvania, uh-huh. hunting for deer or hunting for Bambi. And so far, you know what he's shot in the last 20 years? <laughs> a tree. Tree, yeah. Well, it was an oak tree. It was a good tree. That was yeah. that was one out of 20. <laughs> hit a tree one time. <laughs> well, congratulations, Ty. So you either got to go along with the program or you're going to die. Adapt or die. Against the pass, the Chicago Bears are 26th. I gave him an F. Average gain per pass, 22nd. I gave him a D. Had interceptions, interceptions against them. They're ranked 29th. I gave him an F. Sacks allowed. They're ranked 25th. I gave him an F. First downs allowed. They're ranked 26th. I gave him an F. Third down efficiency. They're ranked 27th. I gave him an F. Fourth down efficiency, they're ranked 30th, and I gave him an F. How in the hell are you going to win when those numbers I just gave you? How are you going to win? <laughs> Doug, you're entirely too negative. That's... Entirely too negative. I apologize. My Lord, enough is enough. We're oh, done. We're done. Dougie. We're done. We're just getting started. Yeah. Listen, all you people here and, and, and our listeners. God, thank you people for listening to Doug and I the past 16 weeks yeah. and and hope Happy we're all new back year. here again next year and a healthy new year and uh, God bless you all and uh, 
It's just it's been a wonderful year. I got a great partner right here with me. And Believe I me, I'm going to tell you something. But I, I will say this, Doug. Remember I told you, if you go down and you have a heart attack, plan on dying, I wouldn't do that, Doug. I no. wouldn't do mouth to mouth. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. I just thought I'd say it, though. Well, I never want to be alone with you again. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks, all of you. And Absolutely. Have a happy New Year. And it's been terrific. DePaul, that's right. That's why we're getting off early. DePaul basketball is coming up next. Have a happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year.